You're awesome and I believe in your dreams. I want to give you a little story about my life. Uh, two years ago. Two years ago, just two years ago, I was working landscape in the heat, in the mugginess, in the gnats, right here in Orange Beach, Alabama. And I hated it. Now this started back in 2013 and I was I was overjoyed because I wanted to I wanted to prove something. I wanted to show that I could landscape better than anybody else. Turns out uh, I was pretty mediocre. But here's why I gave up. After a summer of working for landscape, I said, this is terrible. Why am I doing this to myself? And mentally I was stuck there until I read two books, The Noticer and The Noticer Returns by Andy Andrews. And I started perceiving things differently. I started seeing that I was working in paradise. I was working in a beach town. I was working next to this amazing landscape that I was taking in every day, but I wasn't seeing it. Sure, I looked, but I wasn't seeing what it truly was. And then I started changing my mind. I started listening to books instead of listening to music. And I started every day was great because it became an adventure. It was no longer work, it was an adventure. And then I saw a position come open for support services and I said I want it. And I did everything I could to get it and I got it. And then I saw an opportunity. There was uh, the crossing guards over at the uh, elementary school. And they just they did the same thing, they didn't like it. I loved it, I danced, I had all the kids uh, dancing or cheering. I had all the parents mad at me because uh, <laughs> they couldn't understand what I was doing. But here's the thing. If you do something different, people are going to love you or hate you. And you're going to get hate regardless, but they're going to love you too. And then I went from that. I'm now in corrections. In this past two years, landscape, support services, corrections. And what working in corrections does for me right now is it gives me the opportunity to continue writing. There's a lot of downtime, especially during the fall. There hasn't been recently because of spring break, but there's a lot of downtime and I get to type. I get to fulfill my dream. And I want you to get yours. What I'm trying to say is right now, you have the opportunity. I don't know what it is. You have the opportunity to change your mind and change something about where you work. Change it into something fun. Become who you want to be right now at your job. And if you don't like it, quit it. There's something better out there for you. Believe me. You're awesome and I believe in your dreams. Get your dreams. Make them happen.